Welcome to Differentiation for CSEC Ad Maths. This is the third video of my differentiation series, which introduces the product rule. Before moving on to this video on the product rule, ensure that you look at the first two videos, part one, which, will, which was basic derivatives, and part two, the chain rule, both linked in the description below. It's important that you already know how to do basic differentiation before moving on to the product rule. So the product rule is used to differentiate a product of two functions. A product of two functions mean when we have two functions that are being multiplied together. So the product rule, if we have y equal u v, where u and v are functions of x, then dy dx is equal to u dv dx plus v du dx. Example 1. Differentiate y equal x to the power of 5 cos x with respect to x. So this is a product of two functions, x to the power of 5 is 1 and then cos x is the second one. So we are going to start by making a substitution. I'm going to let u equal the first function x to the power of 5 and v equal the second function cos x. And then we are differentiating each one. So I'm differentiating u with respect to x, that means our variable is x, so that gives us du dx, and differentiating x to the power of 5 gives us 5x to the power of 4, this is the power rule as discussed in the previous videos, and differentiating v uh, with respect to x gives us dv dx, and that's equal to minus sine x. So the du and the du dx and dv dx just means that du means I'm differentiating the function u, dv means I'm differentiating the function v, and the dx means that our variable is x. If I have a function a equals something, then and I'm differentiating with respect to x, then this would be da dx, and so forth. So using the product rule, it's stated just as in a previous slide. We have dy dx equal u dv dx plus v du dx, and we are just going to substitute. So u on the left hand side is seen as x to the power of 5. dv dx would be minus sine x plus v cos x, and then the du dx on the left hand side would be 5x to the power of 4. So we are just substituting these four. Simplifying, x to the power of 5 by minus sine x gives us minus x to the power of 5 sine x. And simplifying the second pair, we have 5x to the power of 4 cos x. And that's our final answer. Um, if any simplification is required, we can go one step further just to factorize the x to the power of 4. But that's not necessary at this point. Example 2. differentiate y equal minus x cubed sine x with respect to x. So again, this is a, func a product of two functions, minus x cubed being one of them and sine x being the other. So we are going to let u equal minus x cubed. Then we have v is equal to sine x. So differentiating u, we have du dx would give us minus 3x squared and dv dx would give us cos x. Substituting into the product rule, we have dy dx equal u, which is minus x cubed, dv dx would be cos x, v would be sin x, and du dx would be minus 3x squared. And just simplifying the brackets basically gives minus x cubed cos x minus 3x squared sin x. And that's your final answer for this one. Example 3, for that, y equal 4x squared minus 1 by cos x, we want to find dy dx. So our first step would be to make our substitution. We let u equal the first function 4x squared minus 1 and v equal the second function cos x. So I'm going to differentiate each one. So du dx would give us 8x. The differential of the minus 1 is 0 since it's a constant and dv dx is equal to minus sine x. 
So substituting into the product rule, we have u being 4x squared minus 1, dv dx would be minus sine x, again it's important to use brackets, plus v cos x and then the du dx which is 8x and simplifying our brackets we would have for the first pair I'm just bringing the minus to the front open brackets 4x squared minus 1 sine x plus and for the second pair we have 8x cos x we could sit also um, distribute this minus sign to get the minus 4x squared plus 1 but that's not necessary it can remain outside or in the brackets as well it doesn't matter for this one so this is the final answer for example 3 moving on to example 4 we have y equal 2x squared minus 3 by x minus 5 and we want to find dy dx again our first step would be to substitute the first function as our letter x so let x sorry u let u equal 2x squared minus 3 and let v equal the other function x minus 5 differentiating each one we have the differential of 2x squared being 4x, the differential of minus 3 is 0. Differentiating x, that gives us 1, and differentiating minus 5 is 0. So du dx would be 4x and dv dx is equal to 1. We are just going to substitute all of this into the product rule. So dy dx is equal to u, which is 2x squared minus 3, plus dv dx being 1, plus, sorry, not plus, let's multiply, now it's plus v, which is x minus 5, and du dx being 4x. Simplifying each pair, we'll have the 2x squared minus 3 plus the 4x being multiplied by x here would give us 4x squared. And the 4x being multiplied by the minus 5 gives us minus 20x. And then simplifying, we would get 6x squared minus 20x minus 3. And this answer is gotten just by simplifying terms. So the 2x squared plus the 4x squared gives the 6x squared. And just writing the minus 20x followed by the minus 3. That's our final answer for example 4. Example 5. Given f of x is equal to 7x cubed minus 4x by x squared plus 5, find f prime of x. <clears throat> and in our first video, basic derivatives, we saw that the f of x can also be used to represent a function similar to or equivalent to y and f prime of x is equivalent to dy dx so basically this question is just telling you to differentiate we are it's just using different notation f of x and f prime of x instead of y and dy dx but the entire solution remains the same solution so we let u equal the first function and v equal the other function differentiating each one of them differentiating the 7x cubed will give us 21x squared the differential of minus 4x would give us minus 4 differentiating the function of v the differential of x squared would be 2x the differential of 5 would be 0 and substituting into the product rule we have u which is 7x cubed minus 4x multiplied by dv dx which would be 2x plus v which is x squared plus 5 multiplied by du dx which is a 21 x squared minus 4 and simplifying the 2x multiplied by the 7x cubed would give 14 x cubed 2x multiplied by minus 4x would give minus 8 x squared and for the other pair of terms I left it as it is and we are going to expand brackets on the second pair so we have the 14 x cubed minus 8 x squared just as before for the second one, we all know how to expand the brackets. x squared by 21x squared will give us 21x fourth. x squared by minus 4 will give us minus 4x squared. Then the 5 has to be multiplied by both terms in the other brackets as well. So 5 by 21x squared gives 105x squared. And 5 by minus 4 gives minus 20. And simplifying our like terms, and I just chose to list this in descending powers of x, so I have the x to the power of 4 term, so that's 21x fourth, plus the x cubed term being 14x cubed, the, eight, the x squared terms being minus 8x squared, plus 105x squared, minus the 4x squared simplifies to give 89x squared, 
and the minus 20. So this is our final answer for example 5. So to recap, the product rule is used to find the differential of a product of two functions in which we can substitute one function being u, the second one being v, and differentiating each one of them and substituting into the product rule and simplifying. So our assignment for this would be to differentiate each of these functions with respect to x. Full working is required to be shown. So thank you for watching the video tutorial. This is the third video tutorial, which is a product rule. The fourth one would be the quotient rule. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Again, it's very helpful to look at a video more than once in order to fully understand the concepts being done. So message me if you all have any questions. Thank you for watching.